you should probably stop now. No! Mark Hedges, bring them all on! And Melody the Ghost. Please stop. And Dr. Hubert Ward. <laughs> it's <laughs> never gonna stop! Number. Hey guys, my name's Dan, and today's reaction is the Ghostbusters Frozen Empire pitch meeting. I am very excited to talk about this. And I know I try to keep things vague as far as my feelings on whatever movie or TV show we're talking about. But with this one, I was super excited to go into the movie theater and watch it. And then I was even more excited after I left. It was just such an enjoyable experience for me. What he has to say about it, what sort of jokes he's going to make. I can look forward to that. Plus, I'll go into further detail and all the things I uh, thought about this movie because I was able to take notes. Fortunately, there wasn't too many people in this particular movie theater i always try to pick a day in time to where not many people are gonna be there so i don't disrupt anyone else's time and if i ever do i am so sorry i'm just trying to take notes i am so so sorry but uh, before we get into it though please do check all those links i have for you down in the description below more specifically the pitch meeting channel and his personal channel as well they're both great ways to support him and since it is my birthday month you're thinking hmm, maybe i should get him something for his birthday hmm, what should i get i don't have a lot of money uh what do i do well it won't cost you a single penny all it will cost you is just going right below this video the, the, the like button the subscribe button notification bell just click all of those buttons down there because i'm going to let you see future reactions that i do but also help me to hit my goal of 9,000 subscribers and beyond and without any further ado let's go so, you have some new Ghostbusters for me? Yes, sir, Yeah. I do. And the whole gang's back again. The original gang or the sequel? The reboot? Who are we talking about here? We Everybody. Ray, Venkman, Winston. Nice. Janine is back, too, and Walter Peck. Wow. And Gary Gruberson and Callie Spengler and Trevor. Which one is Trevor? And, of course, Phoebe Spengler's back because she's, like, the new star, you know? Wow. Yep. Well, sounds like a stacked she's cast great. of characters. And Lucky and Podcaster there, too, of course. Oh, okay. The library administrator from the first movie, he's got a cameo. Probably enough. And we got some new characters to introduce, of course, like Ned. I think you should probably stop now. No! Mark catches! Bring them all on! Stop. And Melody the Ghost. Please stop. And Dr. Hubert Ward's. <laughs> We're gonna a stop. Number of characters to put in this movie that it's gonna be impossible to give any of them any satisfying arc or growth. I do not think that. No. Okay. I didn't think so either. This movie. I can't wait to see the bust ghosts. Oh, and bust ghosts they will, sir. Once at the beginning and once at the end. That doesn't seem like a lot. Well, sir, I kind of have a lot of characters to juggle. There's not really time for that stuff. But it's called Ghostbusters. It is. Yeah. But you know, every character needs some screen time, and I got. I yeah, yeah, you that's You put that many in there. I did, yeah. So at the beginning of the movie, the Spengler family is out on a ghost hunt in New York City, and they're after a flying ghost. Oh, boy. And they try their proton packs, a remote-controlled trap, but they finally catch it with a drone. Why didn't they start with the flying thing against the flying ghost? So we can showcase the different merchandise. So you also want to do Mark that first. Anyway, then Walter Peck, who's now the mayor of the city, tells them that Phoebe can't be a Ghostbuster anymore. Why? Well, because she's a miner. Right, I mean, I imagine the commute alone from New York City to the mines makes sense. No! Oh, no, it's not that again! So oh my god, I feel like he's made this joke so many times. But I never get tired of it, so I guess it's fun. Still, she's 18. That makes more sense. So because she's a sad teenager, she goes to the park to play chess by herself at night, which is a thing that parents let their teenage kids do in New York City. Sounds safe. And she's gonna meet this 16-year-old ghost named Melody, and they're gonna bond in kind of a romantic way, but not so overtly romantic that some people could get mad about it online. Yeah! Sounds safe. Oh, and Trevor's gonna have this recurring thing where he's trying to catch Slimer, so that's gonna be fun. Does that relate to the plot at all? Not really. No, no it's just we fun. We give Trevor something to do in this thing. Or we could just cut him out completely. Send the character off to college or something. Reduce the number of characters in this thing. No! no. Okay. And no, we need everybody. We need everybody from all the movies. What's going on is that they're living at the fire station and the ghost containment unit's having problems. Uh, so what are they going to do? Well, it turns out that Winston, who's been bankrolling them, also has been bankrolling a secret facility with secret employees developing new tech. Why would he not bring the actual Ghostbusters in on that? Because secrets are fun and they have this new thing to Secrets extract spirits from possessed objects why keep those teams separate from each other listen sir i'm gonna need you to get all the way all the way about Winston's all the way secrets, okay he likes secrets secrets are fun i already told you that all right i guess i can get off of that thing secrets are pretty fun but but like 
you know, uh, after everything, they, they were brought in, and so it's not like it's a secret forever. One day, this guy, Nadine, brings in this very scary possessed orb thing. Uh, scary balls are tight. Yeah, okay, no! This guy unknowingly comes what? from a long line of fire masters, and they used to fight this demon that's trapped in this orb. Yeah, what's its deal? Well, it's called Garaka, and it freezes things. Cool. Yeah, and Garaka has this big plan to get out of the orb and make everything very cold. We're talking, like, Montreal in February cold. Oh, my God. Yeah! <laughs> Well, he knows about he that. Enlisted the help of Melody the ghost to get Phoebe to kind of fall in love with her. What? So that she would then want to use the spirit extractor thing in Winston's lab to become a ghost for two minutes. What? So that he can then possess her as a spirit and make her body recite a chant that frees him from the orb. What? So that he can make things cold and spiky. Oh, that all sounds contrived and overly y complicated. Yeah, he, the, well, the, the thing needed, uh, what was it? Uh, Spirit of the Living, I think that's what happened there. I don't remember. I And unlikely. Well, remember it happens. For sure. It says so right here. Oh, all right. Well, then everything freezes and thousands of spikes shoot out the ground. Wow. Sure so do. Hundreds of people must die. No. No. no it doesn't say that here. Whoa, close one. And inside the fire station, all the Ghostbusters got to prep to fight Garaka. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everybody's going to suit up. But Phoebe's going to be like, I know that Garaka does not like brass, so I need to incorporate brass into my weapon. Well, that sounds like an impossible task at this point. No. Nope. It's going to be super Super easy. easy. Barely, Barely did convenience. convenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, she's going to cut down one of the brass fire poles, melt it down, dip her weapon in it, all in the time it takes the others to zip up their outfits. Oh, wow. She is lightning fast. They don't she call sure her is. Speedy Phoebe for nothing. Oh, do they call her that for fun? No. No, they don't. No. No, they don't. Oh, right. That is what you just said. So also, Nadine <laughs> needs to figure out how to use his powers, but he can barely manipulate the flame from a candle. Yikes, how's he going to manage that? By being off screen for a little bit. Yeah, a lot of trading off screen. mastered his powers. That always works. So yes, it does. So they all save the day, and when they come out of the fire station, everybody's cheering for them. How'd they know what was happening inside? Unclear. And so what do you think? Well, I mean, it sounds like a nice farewell to the Ghostbusters franchise, you know? A farewell? Really? No. Uh -oh. I'm just kidding. We can't let anything... No, down. gotta make How more money! Milk this IP. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Ghostbusters animated show for Netflix gets a new major update. Ooh, that should be a lot of fun. So, as I stated at the very beginning of this, I made a lot of notes. I tried to condense it as much as I could, but there is just so much uh, to talk about that I truly did enjoy. Hearing the uh, Ghostbusters siren never gets old. I don't care how old I get. I will always love to hear it. And then we have Paul Rudd, who is just absolutely fantastic fantastic in everything he does man doesn't age his acting is always on point it certainly was in this one and i love how they keep the old uh ghostbusters involved in the story uh while also letting the new cast take the lead so it was a nice little give and take and you know they, they there were to be some scenes with the older ghostbusters and some scenes with the newer ghostbusters and i actually thought like the juggling of characters i actually thought they did a really good job of it um i mean they they had the ghost sprinkled out throughout the the movie but they, they don't really need to be busting goats goes 24 7 i mean they did have them drive uh out of the place several times throughout but didn't actually show any ghost busting so i guess i can see that point really did enjoy the twist of uh, having that friendly ghost turning on phoebe um it's it, it, it's such uh an, an easy thing to to uh sort of sell as part of the story right because you have somebody who you know she wants to see her family again because she's like separated she's currently on uh, in, in this world that she wasn't able to pass on to the next so her, her she was promised to be able to see her family again but then she learns like oh you know maybe i shouldn't do that so i i, I just saw what it did to phoebe i i just understood what she said like nice little message and she was able to, you know, get get rid of that little match thing, give the guy some fire, able to set things on the right path. So the, that, that was a good uh, character journey for her. Let's see what else we got. Bringing back the guy who originally tried to take them down uh, as, the, as the mayor. Like at first, because I was looking at him like, wait a minute, where have I seen him before? And then as soon as he said, oh, I'm going to shut you down, try, just like I tried to shut you down many years ago. It's like, oh, it's that guy. Oh, my God. I, I thought that was cool that they brought him in and then uh, the progression of uh Qu kunel nanjiani's character uh, i thought he, he his was perfect it didn't he wasn't too fast in learning everything because you know as was stated you know he you know kept on using that fire thing over and over and over again and then eventually was able to master it it wasn't too fast it wasn't too short of a period of time it felt fairly natural as natural as being a fire master can be in this universe 
and then of course you know him sliding on that fire pole and all that gear the way he he was he just stuck there and then he just wasn't moving it's like oh, uh, uh, i thought that was absolutely hilarious the, the comedic timing throughout this movie was just so much fun and then speaking of hilarious uh at the end credits scene uh, when uh, the truck driver stops off and a Stay Pump a Marshmallow Men control the truck just just end up leaving. I thought that was funny too. Seeing them as well was a nice uh, you know breath of nostalgia. Really really fun. And all in all, I did I, I absolutely love this one. And if you love the past uh, the, the Afterlife one, you're going to love this one. They did got so many things right that they did in uh, that movie to where. Uh, they did a great job in combining nostalgia with the new characters having uh, moments where the old characters shine, moments where the new characters shine, and both old and new fans can appreciate both of them at the same point in time, which I think with a lot of uh, remakes and a lot of other things uh, that have to do with nostalgia kind of get wrong. The Ghostbusters nailed it and nailed it absolutely perfectly. And I can't really wait to see whatever this animated show has in store. Uh, it, it sounds like a lot of fun. It's got the, the Frozen Empire director, but so we'll have to wait and see what happens when that gets released. But that's going to do it for me here. Comment down below. Let me know what did you think about Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Please check all those links I have for you down in the description below. And lastly, most importantly, I want to give a huge shout out to all my $5 and up supporters on Patreon, Luchador, Cruising, Wolverine 310, GBN, Kester Cronage, Amber K, Raymond Bright, Joshi, Chris Curtis, Haley Machinardi, Ann Perry, Larka, Boss Cacophony, Morgan Page, Alfred Frioli, Izzy, Misa, Misa 2, Lily the Snoopy Fan, Dunsay Singh, Lauren, Jenny the Swifty, Allison the Aesthetic Girl, Jonathan, and Mad Hushy. And if you too like that a shout out at any every one of my videos, please head on over to patreon.com slash the for more. And I'll see you guys next time.